call to order. And Madam Secretary, can we have roll call, please? Outgoing Chair Hauser. Present. Commissioner Hardy. Present. Commissioner Levison. Here. Vice Chair Red. Here. <clears throat> Commissioner Hardy, could you lead us in the flight a little, please? I would be absolutely delighted. Please place your hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner Hardy. This is the public participation part of our program tonight. Uh, I'd like to ask, and we are honored tonight to have Mayor Culler with us. And I'd like to ask Mayor Culler to come up and make, make some comments, please. So I get to see what it's like at this side of it, huh? <laughs> it's been a long time, huh? <laughs> I'll tell you. It has been. It really has. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, and thank you for the opportunity to speak. It is my sincere pleasure to recognize Commissioner Chair Laura Hauser for her dedicated service to the city of Santa Clarita and the citizens of Santa Clarita. I was honored to appoint Chair Hauser to the commission on August 1st, 2000. During that, her tenure as a commissioner, Laura has served the commission twice as commission chair. Laura and her husband, Dave, have lived in the Santa Clarita Valley for over 26 years and raised their son here. Over the years, Laura has actively served in community leadership roles for local high school booster clubs and, ho and homeowner associations. As a businesswoman, she has worked for uh, 18 years for large public and corporate organizations. In 1991, she founded a local business, Leadership Strategies International. Laura has been an advocate for trail development and has actively served on the Santa Clarita Valley Trails Advisory Committee for several years. The committee reached a critical goal in November 2006 with the adoption of the Los Angeles Board of Supervisors of the Santa Clarita Valley Backboard Trails uh, Plan. It is my pleasure to recognize Laura for her many accomplishments as a commissioner and to thank her, thank her for her dedicated service to the city of Santa Clarita. On a more personal note, I, uh, I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute honor to have this lady serve on the Parks and Recreation Commission. I will tell you, not only is she a great friend, but I know firsthand of our many meetings that we've, we've had over the years talking about this community, how dedicated she is, along with her husband Dave, and working hard for this community and doing what's right for our citizens. And Laura, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much we appreciate your, your love of this community as we love our community. And I know we look forward to many opportunities to work together in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you, Mayor Keller. Is there anyone else who would like to make any comments this afternoon, this evening, to Laura? Okay, we're going to move. Okay, go ahead. Are we? going to get at the at the end we'll oh, have I should make my remarks now want to sure go ahead Commissioner comments at the end okay. okay all right all right so we're going to move ahead and we do I think there's a presentation Rick and I'm going to turn it with Rick right now Thank you, Vice Chair Red and, and outgoing Commissioner Hauser. It's uh, my pleasure to spend a little bit of time, and I hope I'm not too long with, with you today, to give you a brief presentation. I guess it's not going to be that brief, but a presentation of some of the accomplishments of the City of Santa Clarita, the Parks, Recreation, and Community Services Department, and especially the Commission over the last eight years. And I'd like to highlight some of the things that uh, the Chair Hauser's been involved with uh, over her period of the eight years as she's been with us uh, here with the City of Santa Clarita. So in trying to put this together, it was sort of difficult to come up with all the things that have occurred in the City of Santa Clarita over the last eight years, and I've had uh, the privilege to spend about seven of those uh, working with, uh, with Laura. And so what we tried to do was come up, I guess, with the greatest highlights. And so if I miss a few, I apologize, but uh, there's quite a few things that we'll go through here today. And we tried to make it as visual as possible so that you have an opportunity to some of, see some of the things that uh, have really physically changed the landscape of Santa Clarita that uh, the commission, uh, Laura, and, and, uh, and the staff, and, and the city council, and, and all of the citizens have really had a, a part in over the last few years. 
Um, as we reflect on it, I thought um, it would be, um, you know, interesting to just tell you that uh, the staff of the department, uh, 120 uh, full-time employees, over 300 part-time employees, have interacted with the commission on and off over the years in public participation proce processes, constructions of uh, projects, in maintenance projects, everything you can think of. And it has been our pleasure to work with the commission. Uh, the recognition by the commission of, uh, of the staff was something that Laura initiated, and it's something that we look forward to every July. And, uh, and I think on behalf of the, uh, the staff, uh, we want to thank you for um, your support over the years of parks, recreation, and community services in the, uh, um, in the community. Where I thought I would start is talk a little bit about parks because they're probably some of the most visible things that you can see. And during the last eight years, there's a whole bunch of things that have occurred. Uh, just before uh, Laura came on the commission and uh, I arrived in 2002, we started uh, a pretty significant phase of uh, construction of parks throughout the Santa Clarita Valley. And when the city was formed, I think many of you know, one of the greatest deficits that the city faced was that of active parkland. There were only 57 acres of active parkland. There should have been about 450. And the city has aggressively, through its council and the commission and, and the organization, pursued additional parkland for its residents. And we now stand in excess of 270 acres of active parkland that's mostly been added literally within the last eight years, and I thought I'd highlight a few of those for you. Uh, beginning in 2000, the city added Central Park phase, phase one, and then in 2004 added phase two, and what we um, sort of jokingly refer to as phase 2A, where we lighted the four new sports fields at Central Park, and it's been a great addition to the community. That, uh, that developed parkland now stands at a little over 80 acres, and we're on our way to 130 acres when that park is totally developed. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, another part of the construction process that's occurred over the last eight years is significant additions to our trail network, especially our class one trails and some of the multi-use trails. And without naming every single segment that we've opened from the Placerita Canyon Equestrian Trail to segments of the Sand Canyon Trail, I think I would just mention trails as a whole. And this photo exemplifies one of the groundbreakings where um, uh, Congressman Makia and Laura and other members of our city family opened uh, phase three of the Santa Clara River Trail. And it exemplifies the 33 miles of active trail that we uh, have already built in the community, not including the Paseos, which bring us to well over 50 miles of trails that are available to our residents. Beyond that, Laura worked very hard um, as our commission representative to the Santa Clarita Valley Trails Advisory Committee, which the mayor just previously mentioned. And that adoption of the valley-wide plan for trails links with the city's plan for trails and leaves us a footprint that we can follow for many years to come. And it would be remiss for me not to mention that leadership effort. Uh, another park we opened, 2001 Circle J Ranch Park, um, a small park on the, uh, down towards the Newhall area of our community, but uh, a park that took a lot of collaboration and um, really added something to that corner of the community. Not too long after, in 2002, we opened two parks. First of all was Pamplico Park, which was a park designed uh, literally from the ground up and built by the city. Uh, up in the Saugus community, and Bridgeport Park, which was a collaboration with Newhall Land and Farm and the city of Santa Clarita, a 17-acre park um, in the Valencia area. Uh, all of these parks added uh, significant facilities uh, to our community. Oak Spring Canyon Park followed not too, too much later in 2003 out on the eastern end of town and is, uh, is one of the our favorite parks in the system and features uh, some beginnings of some of our unique features that we began adding to the parks, including the, including the climbing rock. At that point in our, in our system, we began to start to work on a lot of uh, what I would call bricks and mortar facilities, upgrading older facilities and beginning to add facilities that we really needed to um, uh, meet the growing needs. Um, this facility was, com the, Santa, the Newhall Community Center was uh, completed in 2006, but the planning process really began at the commission level in 2003. And so I included here, that center now is at capacity. We could probably double its size and fill it again to capacity. And as you know, the council has asked us to begin to look at community center options in other parts of the Santa Clarita uh, city limits. 
In 2003, we also opened the Activity Center, uh, which is essentially a community center at the Santa Clarita Sports Complex. It now is, uh, as many of you know, a central focal point for much of our activity, whether it be community activities, parks and recreation activities, uh, or rental opportunities, and it remains a, a critical piece in our, in our recreation system. One of our um, shining stars in our system when, was in October of 2003, and I know this will be hard for some of you to believe, it certainly is hard for me to believe, but we're coming up on the fifth birthday of the Santa Clarita Aquatic Center, and it's just hard for me to imagine that it's been five years. But we opened the Aquatic Center uh, this year. Uh, we saw record numbers, probably because of stay staycation and gas prices, but the Aquatic Center continues to grow in its, uh, in its programming and its use, and, and we expect it to grow over time. One of the next parks that we opened after the Aquatic Center was Valencia Heritage Park, uh, a great park in partnership with Newhall Land and Farm, and it also had some of the first uh, cultural uh, amenities added to a park, including public art and some historical um, uh, plaques to uh, memorialize uh, portions of the history of the Santa Clarita Valley, which led us to one of our most complicated and yet smallest parks, Veterans Historical Plaza, which was a collaboration between the Veterans Historical Committee the Parks and Recreation Commission, the City Council, and many members of the community who worked very hard to bring us a park that is treasured um, valley-wide and, and continues to get a lot of attention. And we hope to bring the next phase of Veterans Historical Park forward for you on Veterans Day as we unveil the story stations. And finally, in the parks area, the park I'd like to, well, actually there's one other that's kind of fun, but one of the parks I think that is probably near and dear to the commission's heart, and certainly I know to the staff's heart, was the construction and the grand opening of Todd Longshore Park last December 15th on the city's 20th birthday. And as you all know, Todd was a fellow commissioner of yours, of all of yours, and, and a treasured uh, colleague, and uh, we're thrilled that that park has become as popular as it has. And the little fun park that we thought we'd throw in is Central Park. <laughs> um, I had an interesting conversation with Vice Chair Red the other day about how long Central Park will be around. And, and I suspect that we will have some type of an off-leash dog area at Central Park for some time to come. Looking to the future, and I'll talk a little bit more with some aerial photos in a little, a little later, but we're beginning the work currently on Sports Complex Phase 4. Um, that work is un undergoing, and many of you attended the groundbreaking session just a few months ago where we started work on this very important project that will eventually encompass about $25 million when we're done. At tonight's regular commission meeting, um, the uh, staff from both the Public Works Engineering di uh, Division and staff from Parks Planning will give a presentation on the current status of that project if you're interested in seeing uh, the most recent photos. Moving to the Recreation Division and talking about things in recreation, a whole bunch of things have occurred in, in, um, in recreation over the last, last eight years, and it's really hard for me to list all of them, but I thought I would start with a few. Um, if you look at the Aquatic Center, I mentioned that with record attendance in the last couple of years, we've hosted the uh, Southern California Junior Olympic Swim Meet for the last three years running. They've been awarded the bid again for the coming year. It's becoming a premier facility for competitive aquatics in Southern California. With the advent of the recent Olympics, it's only going to get worse. Um, <laughs> And uh, it, it, will be, it will be a place that is a focal point of aquatics in California for many times to come. It was awarded uh, a best facility by Aquatics Magazine International several years ago, as well as the city's aquatics program re receiving the NRPA Excellence in Aquatics War Award in 2002. Camp Clarita, probably my favorite photo on the slideshow, um, tells you what you can really do with your kids if you work them hard. <laughs> um, but. The, uh, the city's Camp Clarita website recently won an award from CPRS for the best, uh, the best website. It continues to be one of the most popular programs offered by the Recreation Division, and we're constantly looking for opportunities to expand it. Uh, the Parkmobile recently expanded itself to Parkmobile Packages, where we now will send the Parkmobile out to your home and help you host a birthday party. Uh, since its implementation, we've hosted 35 parties, and we're already looking for uh, more funding to be able to expand that program. In a recreation program that's probably near and dear to Commissioner Hauser's heart, Running 101, at Laura's suggestion uh, in trying to help us promote the marathon and make people aware of the Healthy Santa Clarita programs that we run, Laura suggested a, a Running 101 and was an active participant in that program and took place in the 5K, correct, in last year's marathon. Um, my, and, my first, ever. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it, we thought it was appropriate to watch the beginning of your uh, running career on, on a slide. <laughs> 
From community services, um, there's a lot of things we can talk about with community services, and it was tough to highlight many of the things that have occurred, but there are a few that we think um, uh, are important to talk about. First of all, not, not too long ago, the city council authorized and the commission has long had an interest in dealing with our juveniles and the trouble that they tend to get into. And the community court diversion program was started roughly t uh, two years ago. It has seen, and I'm, re I'm forgetting the number off the top of my head, but it's gone through two seasons and I wanna say about 100 kids have gone through the program where they are diverted from the, cr the criminal justice system into a diversion program which gets them back on the straight and narrow. And to date, only one child has failed to pro uh, go through that program. So those are kids who are not going to jail who are getting back on the straight and narrow. And it's been a very successful effort. I'm sure you're all aware of the Youth Grove. The Youth Grove at Central Park is a, a, a special community project that was um, in, put together with the Blue Ribbon Task Force and members of our community concerned about teen death on our roads. It's something that the, the commission has actively supported. It's part of our after Every 15 Minutes program and has been the recipient of many awards uh, statewide, including a Helen Putnam Award for Excellence and a CPRS, CPRS Award for Excellence. And I'm just sitting here remembering standing in the shade of Todd Longshore on that hot day that we, we dedicated that. It was a very special time. Yeah, absolutely. Another one that I, has been very dear, near and dear to the commission has been our efforts to combat graffiti in Santa Clarita. And I think as most of you know, the graffiti removal program, because of the explosion in graffiti in the United States and in Southern California, the city has, to, has had to dramatically increase its um, financial uh, support and staff efforts to eradicate uh, graffiti in this community. Uh, the commission has long been a supporter of that and um, our system is now uh, a citywide effort to take down graffiti within 24 hours. But beyond taking down the graffiti, our biggest concern is educating the youth on why it shouldn't occur and what the consequences of it are. Because if we do catch you, and we've caught more than 250 taggers in Santa Clarita in the last two years, they do go to jail. There has been a 99.9% .9 conviction rate of those caught by the Sheriff's Department for tagging in this community. And it's something that we don't tolerate. And I'm pleased to say that uh, Commissioner Hauser and, and, and Chair, uh, Vice Chair Red were at the CPRS conference last Long Beach, last March in Long Beach, and accepted an award from the California Parks and Recreation Society for the award of distinction, which only goes to one city in all of California, and it went to Santa Clarita for its graffiti task force program. And I know that was a proud moment. Jody was with us as well. Thank you, Jody. Teen Scene Unplugged is another program that actually is coming up uh, in two weeks. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, at the Hyatt Valencia, where we are working to uh, spend time with our youth and educate them on a variety of issues from teen driving to drugs and, and behavior problems. And uh, we encourage you to look for our next event coming up. My last section that I really wanted to spend a ton of time on was arts and events, and I think I could probably spend the entire evening talking about all the events that are produced by the arts and events uh, section, which has been in existence for about five years, and so I will, I will try to keep my comments brief. It, we really are, focus our efforts in many areas, everything from supporting the Arts Advisory Committee to working with College of the Canyons at the Performing Arts Center. Uh, to working on teen band nights, which the commission has long supported at the activity center, to large events like the uh, AT&T uh, golf tournament, the street art festival in Newhall, uh, which is coming up in two weeks, better give that plug. Um, the Cowboy Festival, which has long been a, an important event in this town, and even the most recent um, uh, acquisition of the Engine Tour of California. Um, there, these events like the Street Art Festival are part of the culture that is beginning to uh, really become a part of the fabric of this community and, and I look forward to working with the commission and, and, the, and the staff and the city council on continuing those efforts, whether it be the Street Art Festival or bringing large events like the Engine Tour of California, which is coming back again this, uh, this February in 2009. A couple of other things that probably are um, sort of on the footnotes on the accomplishments of the last eight years, but are, are, are very important from our perspective. They're administrative, but they really set our, our future for us. Um, first of all, um, under the Commission's leadership over the last year and a half, we have updated the Parks, Recreation, and Community Services Master Plan that was adopted in 1995. This update was just recently adopted by the Commission and the Council in July of 2008, and it will serve us to build out. And it guides us for 
many of the decisions that we will make as we build out the parks, recreation, and community services system that this community will need uh, as it grows through the next 10 to 20 years. And that document is already getting used, believe me. The next thing that I think is, is near and dear, especially to Chair Hauser's heart, is the Open Space Preserva Preservation District. The Open Space Preservation District was passed in July of 2007, and it is, a, is an effort that both Chair Hauser, Commissioner Levinson, and many members of the community worked on to help us build a, a, a belt of undeveloped land around this community to uh, protect our trails, protect our recreational spaces, and we're just now coming out of the organizing phase of that and beginning to really begin to purchase land to meet that goal of creating that green belt. And really championed by Councilwoman West and Councilman Keller. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't see Councilmember West in here. I'm quite remiss. Back in behind you. <laughs> A little bit to talk about the future. Um, you know, it would be there are a few things that are to talk about because they've really been sort of in the in the pipeline uh, as this commission has been moving forward and I thought I would just highlight a couple of them without getting into all the things that that we're concurrently working on and as I mentioned earlier um, the sports complex phase four is currently under construction the majority of the grading has already uh, has already occurred and I think we have an aerial photo if it comes up of that grading and we've already started construction on the skate park uh, portion of that which um, went through public participation processes with this commi commission five years ago in 2003. Uh, it'll be fun to see that skate park uh, probably completed sometime in early uh, February, early March of this of 2009 and we're looking forward to that opening. Uh, Discovery Park is a park that has long been on the commission's horizon and we continue to look for opportunities to fund that park. River Village Park is a park that is in partnership with uh, Newhall Land and Farm and encompasses not only a five acre active park, park site, but it also encompasses about uh, 24 acres of open space lands that'll, uh, that'll reach up a canyon beyond that park. And we're looking forward to working with that, um, with that developer and the community and getting that park and open. Uh, sometime in the sometime in the future, we're currently in construction on the Lost Canyon uh, Trailhead project. Uh, it's been a long time in coming. It has taken, um, especially in the last several months, a number of administrative hurdles that we've had to cross since it's actually in the county. Um, but uh, we have we've crossed those hurdles, and we're going to construction shortly. And you should see some activity <coughs> out there. And finally, Central Park Phase 3. The City Council authorized us to move forward with the design of Central Park Phase 3, which will encompass about eight and a half acres of construction, uh, and most significantly, a very large recreation and community center um, on the uh, western portion of the uh, Central Park property. And we expect, uh, you know, owing to good budget times, that we should be able to begin the construction of that project sometime uh, within the next year to two years, if, uh, if all goes well. I think that um, really concludes my comments, um, other than to say that the Parks and Rec Master Plan that you all have uh, brought forward to us it has really become a guiding document. Your advice and your guidance on getting us there has, uh, has really provided us with a tool that uh, will be on the top of our desks at all times. And, and I think I would like to thank you for your, your support through that entire process over the last year. And finally, to Chair Hauser, um, we want to thank you for your time on the Commission uh, and your guidance and, and your advice and your thoughts, because it certainly has made uh, the system of parks, recreation, and community services that, that we all experience uh, a better place for this community. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you, Rick. I saw Councilperson uh, Lorraine West walk down. And Lorraine, do you have some comments you want to make? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, done. says he's done. <laughs> Can't say ditto. <laughs> I can tell you that our mayor is always working and he is never done. Um, and I'm very proud uh, to have been working with him. Um, we have some new commissioners coming on and, and Laura, I cannot tell you um, what a great job you did. It was just amazing. Um, my thanks to all of the commissioners last year as well as the council for working so hard with me on open space. Um, an amazing thing to get done. I'm glad we got it done last year. Um, because uh, you have a lot of things going on this year. Uh, when we started as a city, um, we had a tremendous amount of wishes and dreams and hopes, and we didn't have a lot to work with. Uh, we had 
seven little parks that were falling apart, and we counted Almendra, which at that point in time was sort of a spot. It was ditto on the board. It wasn't really a park. And um, we started rehabbing those, and we started working on Canyon Country Park, which was 17 acres that had sat for about 16, 18 years. It hadn't done anything, and, and it was just joyous to start working. But some of us had a vision, and we knew the Parks and Recreation Department was the most important thing in the city. We knew that. And um, you're there to help fulfill that. All of you carry a legacy. Dwayne, I like to see you carry on the protection and, and the value of our historical sites. Ruthann, you've got big shoes to fill with trails and open space now. Ed, our champion of our youth always. Laura, I expect you come back doing something sometime been amazing. Um, lots of things that some of you don't know about Laura is that what you see her do and what you've just seen here is just a fraction of the work that she's done. And she has spent just an enormous amount of time um, out championing for the Parks Department and the trails on her own. She's chaired CivTAC. I chaired it for 10 years and Laura has chaired it since and taken care of keeping the integration and the continuity of our trail system and the planning for that within the city and the county. As a matter of fact, uh, Linda Tarnoff, who's a CivTech member, will be sitting out in the audience. Uh, Laura, myself, James McCarthy, former LA County Trails Planner, and my husband sat down for an ungodly amount of hours and went through mapping sections to make sure that the new non-motorized plan uh, conformed and did not lose uh, any of the continuity. And it was a major piece of work. Uh, to do that and make sure every single document would be referenced. Um, amazing work, Laura. And she has just been tireless and continuous. Um, there's just so much heart that goes in from the commissions. And I want you to know new commissioners coming on, those of you that are sitting up there have been working on it, the work you do in the Parks Department is the heart and soul of this community, and it affects every single aspect of our life, from the babies that are first learning to be water safe, right on up to the elderly, and everything in between, and every sport, and our dogs, and our wildlife, and the ducks out there. Horses, I mean, you just, horses. you name it, we're, we're involved in it, if you're in Parks and Rec, and, and it has truly made us something that, as somebody who worked on the, with the 100 people that formed the city, it has made us a premier community and one of the best in the best, and that has been recognized statewide and nationally. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you, staff. And Laura, bless you, and thank you for the unbelievable job that you have given and done from your heart. My pleasure. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you, Lorraine. Now we're going to have remarks by our outgoing commissioner, Laura. <laughs> Starting with me? Starting with you. <laughs> well, um, it's amazing to me what we all have created together over these years. And so I just want to do a round of applause, not only for all that we've seen here, but all that's come from before and everyone who has done just so much for all of these years. So just a round of applause for everybody. Past, past and present and also for, for future. Um, I sit here tonight with such a great sense of pride um, and humbleness as well. Um, and also a sense of kind of a beautiful sadness. Um, so I'd like to say a little bit about that. Uh, and maybe highlight a couple of things if I might have more than just a minute. Is that all right? Sure. I wasn't sure if sure. I was going to be in public comments or... <laughs> your show. I, I uh, drove in from, from Malibu, Pepperdine campus, probably got back about an hour before being here. So I did write down some notes, if it's all right, if I can go through some of these with you to uh, refresh my memory as I just sit here in wonderful awe of what all we've accomplished, uh, as I said, together and those who came, came before us. So um, I think I, I said, I've said before, I love this job and I love the city. And although I've served, served our, our city in a formal job of a commissioner for, for eight years, I didn't start my life by saying, I want to be a city commissioner. <laughs> it just sort of evolved and, and, and happened. And I'd like to say just a little bit about how that came about, especially since I have a few members of my, my family that's here tonight that I'd like to introduce in a moment as well. My community work began uh, decades ago before the city was even a city. 
Um, and I'd like to give some credit to our son, Chris, for that. Uh, it was because of him uh, that my husband and I were very, very involved, especially in youth sports early on. Uh, Chris played many sports, whether it be soccer or Little League. Uh, in high school, he plays, was very fortunate to play under Coach Greg Hayes, very fortunate to play under um, Coach Harry Welsh during football season. That was during uh, Harry's first, first uh, wonderful heyday. So from there, we spent many years, in Dave and I, uh, in, with booster clubs and raising money for the kids so that they could have uniforms to go to their games, and uh, we made all kinds of uh, banners and you know kept stuff in our, our garage, et cetera. Uh, served as president of the, the Basketball Booster Club. Um, and for poor Chris, it was sort of a blessing, but it was also a curse because I remember him unhappily saying one evening, it's like, you know, I can't get away with anything. <laughs> you know everybody, whether it be, you know, I'm at school or with I'm friends, my friends, you, you, know, you know what's going on. So, um, you know, over the, the years, we then also became involved in many other things within the, our community as it continued to, to grow. And somehow, without me knowing it, um, I... I had some sort of rep reputation in the, the community. And uh, I remember standing here at the dais many times um, on behalf of, of the community. And, and Lorreen West was sitting here at the dais at the time. And she became a, a wonderful friend and a wonderful mentor. And I want to thank you, Lorreen, for uh, your, your guidance for all of these years that you've helped provide this, helped help me be able to do more on behalf of the city. So then somehow I showed up here sitting at the dais myself in <laughs> September 2000. However that happened, and Bob, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to, to serve in this capacity and for the, the, the confidence that you had in, in me and being able to, to serve in this role. Um, I remember, Bob, one key expectation that you set, you set for me as a commissioner, because I said, so Bob, what's, what's the, the one thing that you really want to make sure happens? Um, and you said, I, I want you to, to be your own. I, I know that you know what's going on in this community. I want you to be out there and to, to do your job, come to me when it's needed. And you set one key expectation, and that was, you said, Laura, always remember who you work for. You work for the citizens of this community. So I want to thank you for that, and I've always, always kept that in mind. Um, one of the, the things that I, I uh, implemented as uh, chairs at the commissioner uh, did have to do with recognition. So thank you, Rick, for uh, mentioning that earlier. It means so much. Uh, your staff does such an incredible, incredible job, and there's so many people you know, behind the scenes, uh, out in, in you know, working in, in our community, that just do such a fabulous job. And uh, I truly hope that that's one of the things that we will we, I'm still in the we, that you all will continue uh, going forward is having that annual recognition for our staff that's uh, so important. Um, and one of the, the, th the other things in terms of recognition was to ensure that with every single commission meeting that we have, that we have recognition for people in our community who do good things, that are there to be a role model and to uh, serve as a role model for, for kids and adults as well. So I also hope that's something that you'll do, that you'll carry forward, is to ensure that we provide recognition to the fine, fine people in our, our community as we go forward. One of the last things that I wanted to ac accomplish in my position of uh, chair here at the commission was to ensure that uh, our uh, parks, recreation, open space master plan did get updated. And we got that done. I wanted to make sure that happened on my watch before I left. And by gosh, it happened. So thanks uh, to, to staff and uh, to commission, you know, council, you know, everybody that, that helped make that happen. So I'm just really, really excited about that. Um, so it's together along with staff and citizens, um, community, uh, city council, all of us together that we've made such great strides in our quality of life that we have here and are so excited to see about you know, what we have going before us. And so given the, the passion that I have for this work, you can imagine that it was a very difficult decision to step aside. But I'm not going away, Lorraine. You know that. <laughs> um, I'm more and more in, involved in uh, teaching. I just got, got back, as I said, from uh, being down at campus at, at Pepperdine, picked up my key for my office for this course that I'll uh, be teaching down at the, the graduate uh, school. So it's such a beautiful campus. You know, come on down. Let's, let's play. <laughs> uh, and I also embarked on my uh, PhD uh, program as well, which will take a lot of study. So it's in honor of this role that I chose to step aside. 
because I believe that this role um, deserves uh, people who, who make the time to really put their heart and soul uh, into this, this job, and it really does take time. So uh, I'm delighted that, Dwayne, you'll be staying on. Bob, I'm just, I think you've made a, an excellent selection, and I'm just so excited that, that, uh, that Dwayne is, is staying on. So I'd also like to, to welcome the newest members of our Parks and Recreation Commission and know that you will also find this just such a, a wonderfully satisfying uh, experience as I know I have and my fe fellow commissioners have as well. And um, I'd like to, to offer a couple of key things to my, my um, current commissioners as well as to the, the new commissioners and that is to remember the advice of Bob Keller uh, and that is remember who you work for the citizens of this community, not an individual council person, not an interest group, but you work, uh, you work for the citizens of our, our city. And the second thing is, is to continue to be respectful of our history and our heritage. Um, you know, remember that we all stand on the shoulders of those who come before us. And uh, there were many that I'm proud to have been able to stand on their shoulders and, and help be a part of this community. So with uh, all of that in, in mind, I'd like to give out a few small gifts tonight, if I may, and just before doing so, I'd like to point out a couple of members of my family who are here tonight who were able to make it. So I'm uh, very proud to say I'm the wife of Dave Hauser, who's Yay! there. Yay! Very proud to be the mother of our son, Chris. Very proud to be the sister of my sister Sharon. Great. Thank you. So, with that in mind, then um, I'd like to express my sincere thanks to my fellow commissioners as well as to, to staff. I've just so much enjoyed, you know, working with with all of you. You've become my dear friends uh, over the years, and the city just has the most incredible staff. Uh, Rick, you've just done, done a phenomenal job uh, yourself personally and and who you, you also have, have hired. It's, it's just an amazing staff. I think we're so fortunate here in our city. It's just incredible. So uh, with that in mind, I'd like to uh, hope that you, uh, I'd like to start with my fellow commissioners and hope that you'll receive um, a humble gift that I put together for you. Jody. I really needed you because I kind of did this myself. <laughs> 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 and I'm just sort of not handy with my hands that way. <laughs> but uh, Chris, if I could get some help, could you bring, bring those gifts up that, that we brought and then I'll explain what they are. <laughs> I can bring the box, box up here and then... to Maureen. I think it looks darn good. Oh, thank you. I mean, you didn't paint the pictures, I'm sure, but. Well, you know, that was my original thought. <laughs> I, there's actually three other pots, <laughs> and I just decided that it, these look really great. <laughs> So, so with these, these pots, there's some things that were very symbolic for me and meaningful that I wanted to, to pass along to you. So one of the things that's in your picture there is a candle. And the candle's there to, to uh, rem not to remind you, but to, for, for, I know that you will continue to, to be a guiding light for um, what's needed in this community and, and shining the light to ensure that we continue along the path that's been charted going forward. There's also a tape measure in there, a big yellow tape measure, because it's easy to measure the difference that you've made in our community and that I know that you'll continue to make. There's also a seed packet, and in that seed packet, that's so that, that you can plant more seeds to, as, to help our city continue to grow as a really great place to live, work, and play. And there's also, of course, the pitcher holding all of this so that you can add water to uh, water those seeds. And lastly, there's a 100 grand bar in there because you guys, to me, are just absolutely priceless. So I um, want to thank you for that. Also, uh, in your honor, I wanted to make a donation. Um, so Duane, for you, I made a donation to the Santa Clarita Historic Society.
You're welcome. And Ruth Ann, for you, I made a donation to the Pacific Crest Trail. Thank you. You're welcome. For Ed, I made a donation to you to the Santa Clarita Arts Association. You're welcome. And to Rick. Where'd they go, Chris? I'll give you yours. Uh, for you, I uh, made a donation to the Canyons Aquatic Association. <laughs> <laughs> But, or at least I'm going to because I, I go online and there isn't a place that you can click, so I've left them an email. <laughs> <laughs> and I also uh, wanted to provide some flowers here to Maureen and Arlene and everyone else who just provides such wonderful uh, support uh, to all of us on the commission. So thank you so much for that. Um, so uh, let's see, what am I, what am I missing? Um, just that I love you all. Everybody's great. Uh, and as uh, you go into your six o'clock meeting tonight, uh, we're going to go to dinner. <laughs> well, let, let you continue continue to, to work. So uh, I hope I've, I've captured most of what I wanted to say. So thank you. Thank you, Laura. <clears throat> we'll get in there, Ruth Ann. We'll get there. No worry. Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm sitting on my hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a presentation to outgoing commissioner, body director, Rick. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chair Red. I have, I have a few presentations or a couple of presentations for you tonight. The first is, is that uh, in the, over the last year, you've served as the chair of the commission, and as our tradition here in the city, we uh, have a recognition for you for uh, serving that time as, as the chair of the commission. Uh, we debated uh, having the gavel uh, stapled onto a copy of the master plan, but we, thought that would, <laughs> <laughs> but we thought that probably wouldn't stay on the wall for too long. So for, the first thing I'd like to give you is, a, is the gavel from, uh, um, for your time as our, our outgoing chair of the commission and some flowers uh, that go along with it. I didn't wear glasses eight years ago. <laughs> 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 don't go away don't go away <laughs> don't go away we're not done not done okay so, so you, know, you can set them down if you like because you're going to need both hands okay <laughs> then as, our, as been our tradition with outgoing commissioners we've traditionally racked our brains to try to think of something that would be memorable for you to uh, take with you as, uh, at home and remember your time on the commission and there were so many things that uh, Chair Hauser was involved with it was difficult for us to come up with any one particular item that um, maybe tickled your fancy so what we did is we put together a collage of photos of many of the events that you were involved with in your time on the commission and we hope that that will be a great memory for you uh, as you, uh, as you sit in your office in Pepperdine and stare out at the ocean, you might, stay, you might take a little time to look at the plaque. So uh, on behalf of the staff and the department and the city of Santa Clarita, uh, thank you once again. And, and uh, we hope that is a, a, a wonderful parting gift. It's beautiful. Look, gorgeous. Plenty of places. I just carry it with me. Okay. 
No, we have commission comments. Ruthanne? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I want to go first. Oh, okay. Go ahead. The funny thing about this is I spent um, this morning writing down notes of things that I would say. I sort of misunderstood the assignment. I thought we were supposed to talk about all our accomplishments. And I was really proud that everything that everybody said, well, I must have been looking over Rick's shoulder as I was writing my notes because almost item for item, I think I, I thought of all of those things. Um, so I have to laugh because I really can tear them up. I don't have to say much. But just a couple things. Um, I love a party. I hate saying goodbye. I love to say hello. New challenges excite me. What does all this tell you about me? Well, I'll let you decide. But I am direct. I say what's on my mind, and I never have a hidden agenda. All that being said, it's time to say goodbye from this day us only to Laura, my, and I'm going to cry, <laughs> my dear friend and peer. You've had so much impact on this commission over the last eight years. I've, <laughs> I've been here for the last two of those years and have enjoyed working together with you immensely. Your presence will truly be missed. You have brought expertise, passion, and class to this body. You have motivated us to do more than we'd ever planned. For example, getting me in a running class with all your enthusiasm before I realized what I was doing. I flunked, of course. Uh, she ran the marathon and I waved from the sidelines. Um, you kept us on track and focused on the important issues and helped to bring them to fruition in a timely manner. You are really amazing. Our personal relationship is one that I treasure and I know that that will go on, but I will miss sharing the dais with you and sushi after our meeting nights. I know you are not going away, away and you will continue to be a strong, sane voice in our community. And I will be canoodling, my new favorite word, with you often on the myriad of issues that we confront in the Santa Clarita Valley. Now, just a few little things about some of the, the things that have been especially important to me, and I've worked on all of them with Laura and the other commissioners, but particularly with Laura. Um, the most significant projects to me, because I've only been on the commission for two years, um, were amongst those mentioned. And of course, the master plan was a huge uh, accomplishment. Uh, it gives us, uh, and when I say us, I mean commission and staff, a perfect roadmap to use as we go forward with the recommended projects to the city council. Uh, Todd Longshore Park was mentioned. And I mentioned it too. It was a wonderful addition to our park system. I was not in on the initial stages of planning as a commissioner, but as a community member on the Canyon Country Advisory Committee, I remember advocating that this park be built above this park above Canyon High School be built. The property had been given to the city many years before and languished, it seemed, forever. Almost as though the great powers that be were saving it for something special. And as it turned out, it was very special indeed to honor our longtime and wonderful Parks Commissioner, Todd Longshore. It gave me great pleasure to have this park's completion on my watch, especially since I became a commissioner as a result of Todd's passing, leaving an enormous hole on this commission. Another huge event, and I'm so happy to see Lorraine here, was the open space well, of course she would be here, but the Open Space Initiative Project, its passing was, in her words, the biggest event in this community since we became a city. I wholeheartedly agree with that assessment, and these are few words for, for the enormous accomplishment that it was and how greatly it affects our Parks Department and the entire Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, the last... the. Went on about a few other things. Uh, the gift tax was huge. Was huge. The Los Angeles County adopting the uh, the trails master plan, 
And then all the many, many things that, um, that Rick mentioned about all of the uh, community services, that uh, so many things that are important to this commission, not just kids and games and fun stuff, but uh, emergency services and CERT and the Senior Center. And as I say, I just ticked them all off as you were mentioning them. Uh, it's been such a pleasure working with the park staff. It's the best anywhere, and it was proven so by the poll that was taken of the uh, citizens of this valley that said it was the best, 97% of them, I, said, I think it was. So uh, those are just a few little additional blurbs that I wanted to, to add to what's been said. Commissioner Hardy. Thank you. Laura, I've, I've known you for what, since? 2000 when you got on the commission and uh, on commission. I was on the commission at that time and and you know, we served together and you know got to know you pretty well uh, had a lot of fun um, I remember when we went to the uh, CPRS con uh, convention up in Sacramento and I had to make sure that I kept you in line you know I didn't want Dave to get lost out there somewhere so we made sure Dave she was straight so <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we had we had a great time, and uh, you know, over that period of time, we got to know each other. Uh, we w we went through our, uh, uh, our our mental tests together, and you know, come to come to find out, uh, you know, how opposite we are, or, or how alike we are, and and a lot of things like that. So, it, it it was great serving with you for the two years that I did, and during that during that two years, I know that. We had taken a lot of the things that uh, Rick brought up, and were on our wish list. and And it's great to you know to come back to the commission and see that so many of those have been completed or are in the works and will be completed. It, it is truly a thrill. Um, one last thing that uh, I wanted to do uh, was to call up my wife Pauline and ask her to read something to you for the two of us. Hi, Pauline. I have to wear my sunglasses because they're reading glasses, so I apologize. <laughs> um, when I was looking for a card tonight, I thought, oh, this is going to take forever because I usually take an hour to find the perfect card. And I walked right up to this one, and it was perfect because it described Laura Hauser. One seed can start a garden. One smile can lift a spirit. One candle can light a room. One conversation can start a friendship. One person can make all the difference. And that one person is Laura Hauser. You set a standard of excellence that others can only aspire to achieve. And it's very sad to see you go. So thank you for all you did. And all you will, I know I'll be seeing you, but um, it is, this is just a sad day for Santa Clarita. Bye. And Thank you, she, Pauline and Dwayne. And she has a little something for you that uh, she can get from us. So. Pick up on the way out. <laughs> but it, it's, been, it's been wonderful working with you, Laura. Even better knowing you. Mm. And, and thanks for all you've done. Thank you so much. Thank you, Commissioners. <laughs> well, Laura, you know, <clears throat> we've talked and uh, you know how I feel about uh, seeing you leave the commission, but I just want to say a few words. And you know, you were the first person after I was appointed to the commission to come up to me back at the back of the room and says, and introduce yourself and said, welcome. Yeah. That meant a lot to me. Uh, you were so gracious and just to make me feel relaxed and uh, you, you were there. It has been an honor and a thrill to work with you. We have been working together on a lot of uh, uh, projects, and you look at some of the photos, you see you and I standing there together and uh, supporting each other. And the one thing I want to say is everything you've done, you've done it with class and dignity. And, and I appreciate just working with you and all of the encouragement you've given me and, and everything you've done to, to support me and to, work together and to, to make this community better. I mean, I can't add anything more to what's already been said. You are all of that and more. Uh, I have to say, going to the CPS, CPRS uh, ceremony last year, uh, it was fun. We rode together in the car. 
Uh, you were so excited. Uh, you had a cold. You were sneezing and coughing all over the car. And <laughs> 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 Yesterday, the day after that, I caught a cold. But <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it was okay. It was fun. Sometimes I'm a little too tenacious. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, you know, when we received the award, it's like when we went home, you, you cold went away. You were, you were feeling so great. You were so proud. Just as I was so proud to, to receive that award. You have been uh, just great for this community. And, and, and I just want to say thank you for being so good and for, for being there for me and for being there for this community. You have been outstanding. Thank you, my friend. I love you all. We're going to adjourn now, and we're going to probably go to the back and have some refreshments. We invite you guys, to everybody, to join us back in the back, and we'll adjourn. We'll start committee, uh, the uh, regular meeting in a few minutes. Meetings adjourn. Santa Clarita's Street Art Festival returns to Old Town Newhall Saturday, September 27th and Sunday, September 28th. Free and open to the public, the Street Art Festival features live music, dance entertainment, and great food and fun for the whole family to enjoy. All weekend long, watch street artists create a work of art from a beginning outline to the final masterpieces. Don't miss the City of Santa Clarita's Street Art Festival in Old Town Newhall, sponsored by Lockheed Federal Credit Union. At the Santa Clarita Valley Senior Center, we do our best to make sure that no senior in our community is left alone or hungry. Come and enjoy our 17th annual benefit auction, Saturday, September 27th. This fundraiser will feature fine wine, international cuisine, and a salute to our event's founder, former mayor, Joanne Darcy. Make sure that our seniors receive the services that they need from recreational programs to home delivered meals. Together, let's make sure no one's call goes unanswered.